Everybody, welcome back to another episode of Last Town of Survival. Today, we return, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Today, boom! What you guys are seeing right here and right now is actually one of the two teasers and gameplay looks we have at the clan base. Which, in case you guys don't know, is looking like it is slated to be the big update 1.10 coming our way very soon. Sorry if I sound a little bit different. I'm currently actually in LA for the PUBG Mobile LA Regional Finals that we are participating in, but that ain't gonna be stopping us from getting y'all the daily content so sorry if we sound a little bit different we should be back to normal pretty much on monday but in the meantime some fan freaking fantasticness coming your way and this if you ask me definitely qualifies as that so let's go ahead and break things down break down the info that we got this is obviously an in development screenshot those t's those t boxes that you guys are seeing are actually text boxes to denote uh most likely what's going to be i'm guessing like a player's name and maybe like the clan name under since this is the clan base the clan base was actually denoted in the roadmap coming uh it should be coming after the halloween update after the halloween update we have the gas station update halloween update being slated to come this month because it's october it's Halloween. It's also going to be a dual event with Dia de los Muertos. However, back to what I was saying. After that, we are going to be seeing the gas station. And after that, the clan base, which in the roadmap was denoted to be coming along with clan base building. Meaning, since this is known to be the clan base, I believe this is where we are actually going to be able to build and deck out our base. So what is there to know so far about this? Well, the super obvious and interesting thing is that apparently our clan base is going to be in some sort of a subway if you guys aren't sure uh that giant random thing in the middle that is a wall a very weird one that is definitely some type of a train that we are seeing if you guys need a little bit of further convincing it becomes a little bit more obvious when you look over in that right hand side kind of close to that lower half like kind of right to the right of like where the train is over you can kind of see a little bit of the train tracks that this bad boy is going to be on. Now, I'm not sure if that means that this is somehow going to be functional and we're going to be able to utilize this thing to the fullest of its extent. Maybe, like, drive it around. Maybe this will be, like, a clan vehicle that lets us uh, transport and tackle missions together. Like, we could group up and do it. But we are seeing multiple people in the same area, most likely of the same clan. And this is going to be the area that we will be calling home, at least for the time being. And this is only one of multiple teasers that was posted posted because boom what you guys are seeing right here is something a little bit different this is the second teaser that was posted that we were able to get our hands on this one is a little bit more of a finished look as you guys are seeing everyone is wearing the uh sector seven suits meaning that this is going to be something that is going to be necessary uh it is going to be taking place in sector seven the clan base is definitely not going to be outside of sector seven the clan base will be taking place within sector seven and so far here we are getting a little bit of a look at it now this is only i'm not sure just how big this clan base is because it does look like there might be a little bit more room over to the right kind of like right in the middle of like where this guy is running back and forth between this is obviously it does still look to be a little bit of a work in progress because like uh i think like that a uh, little like billboard sign in the middle of like the subway or whatever i think that should actually have like a detail have some sort of a billboard but you guys are seeing the textures are starting to come along and things are starting to look very nice and finished and then over on the right hand side of like in between like all the benches and stuff you guys can actually see for a little bit what appears to be some sort of a corridor that might be able to take us some Somewhere, but it does appear that also at the very top of the screen we are seeing some sort of a subway staircase meaning that potentially the top will be the exit and or entryway and potentially there will be more stuff over in that bottom left hand corner of this and as i was saying with the text boxes in the first one you guys can see that at the very top is what most likely will be the player's name and then right below that we are potentially seeing the clan name i I'm not sure what order it's going to be happening, but you are seeing that I, everyone does have the same name. I think that might just be for testing purposes or something along those lines. But they do all have the same name and the same clan name. I'm Like I'm saying, I'm guessing one of them is going to be the name. Probably the top one. And then the second one, which is going to be denoted by those two dashes, is going to represent the clan name. This is actually very cool to see because this is going to be one of those foundational pieces for true multiplayer. Since this is kind of going to be a way of denoting what clan you are in and all that type of jazz. But more importantly, this is the beginnings of being able to construct the base that our clan will call home. And like I'm saying 
saying, man, that train is looking very, very, very interesting. I, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to interact with it because we don't really get a great look at it in the second view. Like, we do see that, I mean, there is, like, that head kind of, like, area where you, like, where a train conductor would be, for example. Then near the end, you do see the coal. I don't know if that's just a byproduct of the location you de we decided to take up residence within or if we're somehow going to be able to incorporate that because, well, it's like a whole subway system and stuff. And this is kind of interesting to see because way back in the last day on Earth days, like maybe a year or so back, there were actually looks at like, I believe some subway sketches and potentially even subway models. So I'm not sure if maybe those might somehow come full circle or whatnot, but nonetheless, very cool to see. Cannot wait to see how this is incorporated along with a clan base building because I wonder how that base building is going to work in an underground area like this. Will we be able to construct walls? Will it be limited to benches or is this maybe the underground portion of our base and maybe what happens is we have to kind of like build up our base around top side and like the underground over here is some sort of area of operations where we could just like chill or something but nonetheless it's gonna be very cool and hopefully what we will be able to do is have some sort of common clan storage however so far we do not yet have the ability to loot or even get items in multiplayer potentially that will be coming along with this and again you can tell that this is happening in sector 7 because the inventory is grayed out because the crafting menu is grayed out and this is the exact suit that we do utilize to enter sector 7 but it is interesting to note that there is no power armor necessary over here in this underground area making it seem that this underground might be safe from something and i that's why I, another reason why i'm thinking there might be something top side that we got to do whether that be like that's where the base building happens top side and then there might be a room where we can like leave or like quote unquote park our power armor and then we go down here and we can actually safely look around interact it's gonna be interesting to see all the interactions that we can do and i like i'm saying man trading workbench crafting and multiplayer specific stuff it's gonna be interesting to see exactly how that does unfold but for the time being what we are seeing so far is pretty limited but nonetheless it has to be hype as can be because it's gonna be crazy to watch this unfold this is where last day on earth gets crazy juicy with the clan introduction with honestly what is probably going to be the biggest feature to come to last day on earth man the ability to do things like this and ultimately this is a step towards clan wars where clans will be able to battle each other and potentially man raiding other bases on a clan level is going to be crazy but nonetheless there we have our very first look at the clan base in a multiplayer context so with that said with that done that's going to wrap it up for today's information that we got to share with your boys and girls absolutely cannot wait to hear what you got to say about it in that comment section down below because this is one of the best teasers we've got in a hot freaking minute and it just has to be so crazy hype for the updates coming out not only are we going to be getting our grubby little fingers on the halloween update next in the dia de los muertos update the festive seasons are going to be coming around hopefully i mean we've seen some of the leaks come out and i think like there are there's going to be like the uh luchador mask or whatever and like a witch's hat or something it's it's going to be wild to watch this all unfold and after that we got the gas station jack the mechanic a new npc that's going to be introduced that might be upgrading our choppers and then after that clan bases to look forward to and what is most likely going to be that 1.10 update i've gone into depth on this a lot more in prior videos but long story short i mean just think about it the type of updates that do lead to the next update like 1.8 what did it take to get up to 1.9 a freaking huge weapon overhaul and weapon mods and weapon attachments what did it take to get to 1.8 freaking multiplayer what did it take to get up to 1.7 raiding what did 1.6 take an entirely new area of the map unlocked with new resources new recipes there's that common theme of well needing pretty like a pretty sizable pretty significant update and at least from those next three updates man quite obviously the ability to build a clan base and have that common living space and hopefully build up the clan base is going to be I, at least from those three man it is looking like definitely the best and biggest so definitely something that i cannot wait to get my grubby little fingers on so much stuff to be hyped for so i think you guys are sticking around with that notification bell because we're gonna be covering the bejesus out of all the information coming out about these updates keeping y'all as up to date as possible not to mention diving into them as soon as hello oh dude the turkey ain't cooked today last time we came here the turkey was pretty cooked and the reason we're coming here is because it's actually started coming out that the motel dude i i think you can even find c4 at this place people were like yo what's what's going on with the boat 
hotel is not even that great of a place. Like, don't get me wrong. It's, it's a bit of a pushover, right? But if you're telling me there's a chance of finding C4 here, we are going to be doing everything we can. And on a quick side note, for today's raid, potentially raids plural, we're going to have to see because I don't want this video to be too long because hotel internet is a struggle. And I don't want this video going out to you guys at 3 to 4 a.m. my time because that would be a bigger struggle than a strudel. And strudels, while delicious, do rhyme with struggle. And what's my logic? I don't know. You guys just heard my logic unfold in my brain. See you later to all these alligators. So, yeah. But if you guys did see it, our chopper, we do have three C4. Hopefully, we'll be able to get more. And the motel, like I'm saying, man, low-key does have some really, really good stuff that you can potentially get. We've got a freaking energy drink out of here to refill our stamina with. We got a book to learn more about the Winter Zone. Dude, it wasn't like some common pine book either. It was a Winter Zone magazine. Like, those are pretty solid. Here we have that 3c4 that i was talking about so today's raids are going to be very very juicy and on top of it all i cannot wait to what you guys got to say about that teaser about what you think about it not to mention clan bases in general what you're looking forward to them not to mention maybe what you're gonna oh decent decent could could definitely be worse if we're getting some pretty solid motel loot but yeah like i was saying just everything that has to come with clan bases what you guys are looking forward to what might be coming hello internet don't do this what is going on here oh there we go we're fixed in that comment section down below i cannot hear what you guys got to say and a reminder that comment is going to put you one third of the way into the way you're trying to at two such place store gift card giveaway all you gotta do as well is make sure to like button make sure to subscribe that will ensure you win on today's video y'all go ahead and enter in on every single last day on earth video when saturday rolls around we'll pick a random video from the past week pick a random comment from that random video and set we will win up for the week and we'll kick off a new week to give away that exact same saturday as well so make sure you stay tuned with that notification bell to stay up to date with all the latest and greatest of last day on earth information and gameplay as we continue checking out There's some pretty dope things there are actually some uh whatchamacallit building material packs that i do want to do an opening of at some point so that's going to be very exciting because that those packs have a chance at having some pretty nifty things in bada bing bada boom in we go into the latter half of the motel and hopefully all the goods that it has and we wait did we loot the back of the hold on i'm gonna check really quickly i just want to I, I, I was just doing a lot of the talky talks so i'm not 100 i know we looted the barbecue i want to make sure that we looted the car really quickly i'm not trying to leave this unlooted okay we did we did just the, just need that off my conscience had to get it off but yeah can't wait to hear because we are gonna be staying as up to date with all that information as possible to keep in y'all in the loop even if we travel it out to freaking different states dude i'm from illinois california that ain't no leisurely drive over that is multiple connecting flights to make our booties over this way but that ain't gonna be stopping us from keeping y'all in the loop with what's going on of course checking out those gameplay updates as soon as the time comes for them to be released all while Stand hype as can be because dude these ah oh man just everything that they've been detailing into that roadmap they got some big things on the way and i cannot wait to hello oh i forgot to bring me a hatchet i always forget to bring a hatchet to the motel man uh hmm, I, I could just make a quick pit stop dude we're getting a lot of these helmets too which is kind of interesting why don't we go ahead drink up a little bit of tea drink up a little bit of that beer and we are most likely needing to spread ourselves some vitamin p but yeah like i was saying make sure that you guys do stay tuned for that information for the update gameplay as we make sure to go ahead and cover everything and anything that those updates encompass not to mention show off the craziest things the highest level things that they do bring all while making sure to keep y'all in the loop because with that notification bell you guys can stay in the loop with every single video that is coming out that y'all go ahead and enter in on for that weekly giveaway all while making sure whoop, 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 whoop. no no oh my god don't yell at me a freaking weeper this is a savage cycle oh my god my eardrums my eardrums weren't prepared for this get out of here you she demon uh, but yeah it's a great way to stay up to date not just with every video y'all can enter in on for the weekly giveaway but also on top of it all the dope survival games we are checking out in addition to last whoop, 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 in addition to last day on earth while making sure to stay as up to date with last day as possible because last day is kind of sort of how how does one say freaking dope yeah I think that is the way that it is said, unless I'm getting some sort of mistaken terminology here. Okay, I want some glue. I want some band-aids up in my belly. Actually, no, I don't eat no band-aids. I want to put that away. I want to put that in. And bada boom, bada bing, we're looking good. Like I'm saying, uh, so, mm, yeah, we are going to need to come back with a hatchet at some point. But that's not going to stop me from looting the rest of this place. Like I'm saying, hopefully you guys are crossing your fingers too. I'm crossing my fingers. Hopefully you guys are crossing your fingers that we can hopefully go ahead and acquire the beauty 
Oh, the beauty known as, uh, just, as, just, I don't know, man, just good loot. All right, so far we've had, like, semi-decent loot. A lot of these helmets, man, the game is really pushing these helmets out on me for some reason. Don't get me wrong, I like me, I, I you know, mm, this helmet is better than those pantalones. Uh, goodbye, pantalones, I'm sorry to say. Do you want to bust open? Ah, no busting down there so we have completed our circuit of the motel until we do come back with that battle axe so uh excuse moi i'm gonna make sure that we do that so we could check this place out to the fullest uh how does one say a brb and let's make our way onto the return trip over to the motel i know it hurts to utilize this energy but no worries because i mean hey to be fair i don't mind I don't mind. The motel gave me an energy drink before, so it's only fair to come full circle and utilize it, you know, by using energy again to the motel. Although, to be fair, this all could have been avoided if I, I just, dude, the motel's a new location. I'm so used to only bringing the uh, hatchet or whatever. Honestly, it took me a minute to get used to bringing it to the farm, man. Sometimes I'll still forget. Like, for some reason, dude, that hatchet and raiding is just embedded in my mind. Those two are the connections that I make. And some sometimes it forces me to forget other connections. But, yeah, I wonder if there's some way to, like, get these guys to break through somehow. Because, like, if you approach these, I think they have a chance of breaking. But I wonder if there's some way to kind of, like, reset the chance and eventually just kind of, like force it to break open i don't know just kind of interesting little thing maybe some of you guys know feel free to go and spread that info in that comment section down below but man i just can't wait to hear what your guys is hi oh i forgot to grab that bad boy uh you know this hatchet's about to break so i'm just gonna let that bad boy break and then i'll go and grab that little helmet hello good morning how are my favorite fast fighter psych ain't i ain't got a favorite fast fighter i'm very i'm very sorry to inform you of this but uh it, ju it just ain't, ain't my type of thing you know uh, so we got one more swing out of this hatch. Let's do that. But for real, man, I, I can't wait to hear the hype just because it's been, it's been a minute. You gotta admit, since we've had so many dope updates lined up in pretty quick succession for Last Day on Earth. Like the motel, don't get me wrong. It is not the greatest location in the world. But, I mean, we're going to be getting the Halloween update probably within a week or two of the motel update coming out. Just because it has to come out in time for October. Because, hello, Halloween is celebrated during October. And that's actually the time it actually came out. What exactly did it come out? It came out right around mid-October as well. And we're kind of like starting to get past that mid-October point. So it should be coming pretty freaking soon. Honestly, I, dude, if it comes within a week of the motel update in the grand scheme of things, that's actually going to be kind of insane. And like I'm saying, man, it's just going to be a great sign for all the things to come. We've seen the gas station starting to get like pretty I, I don't know man we've seen some relatively finished looking looks at the gas station that bad boy is probably pretty close to being ready it's gonna be awesome because the gas station's another location i've talked about this before that does incorporate the road and the thing with the road that's super interesting is that like it dude it's it's just interesting all these new locations are starting to incorporate it and it has this common theme of well dude the only logical way only logical place for the road to go eventually is to the suburbs to the city that is pretty much where that road eventually dude like if there's a road like either through highways or something it will be connected to another major city you know what i'm saying like it's crazy to think about i'm not trying to get into no roadception at the moment i'm just trying to give you all some perspective and i don't know just the existence of roads it, it really starts to foreshadow that city and those suburbs but not only are we getting that foreshadowing we have the instant or pretty close to instant gratification of the motel update which while kind of disappointing at first upon further investigation what we have been learning from people dude I, i'm not sure if you can drop the vss but kafir did hint towards the vss being potential loot here we found energy drinks i'm guessing you can find all different types of magazines here it, it just seems like they got a lot not to mention that potential c4 that i've been hearing about i'm not gonna believe that until i see it with my own two eyes but i've heard from other like youtubers and content creators and it's like bro you can't actually be serious right now like we can get c4 from this place if i if and when i get a c4 from the motel i'll love the motel for the rest of my life because a c4 from a location like this is amazing you know what else is awesome about hello airdrop you got me tempted and then uh today we might only have time for one of these raids but no worries just because i'm going to try to record a video a little bit earlier in the day because it just took a while to make sure to get my laptop set up because recording on the go is not as ideal as recording as home uh sorry about like for example the mic quality first and foremost like it's not the worst thing in the world but it ain't it ain't that beauty it ain't that microphone we got at home man that thing is a whole setup and a half honestly if i had to set that mic up again i don't know if i i don't even know if i know how to man that thing was an adventure and a half but it was an adventure and a half that was worth it whereas like this microphone that i'm using now it's just like a usb microphone it was a pretty good one but it 
it ain't no like mic that we used before. Like you guys have seen it maybe like during some streams and stuff. Like it, it just it just looks professional, dude. It's the most professional looking thing in my freaking life. All right, uh, so we can go ahead and get the saw blade mace. Should we choose? I do. Uh, the saw blade mace. I choose you. Sorry, yellow wristwatch Pikachu. I, I have so many wristwatches and not a lot of uses for them. So that was a relatively quick but efficient airdrop run. Then we knocked out of the way, but yeah, dude, I don't know, man. It's just going to be crazy. If Kafir keeps on, because that was the nuttiest part, man. I've been playing Last Day on Earth almost since close to the beginning. We've been playing it ever since, uh, when was that? I think right around like August of last year. Also, is this a Mothra sequel? <gasps> oh, Drive! God dang it. I thought we were going to be able to make it to the motorcycle. No, no, no. No motorcycle today. All right, well, I say we make our way back home then and prepare for this raid. We are going to be going after Dinobot today, and we have about eight minutes to get our booties over there before our freaking timer goes down just because of the weird timing we had. And I'm, I'm not trying to lose a free skull, dude, because I think as soon as we step foot into the raid, our raid timer should go back up. So that's all that I'm mainly trying to do is just, like, initiate the raid. So we just got to go ahead and get our hatchets and whatnot to begin that. But, oh, no, starvation has struck. All right, we got to do something about that, too. Uh, beans! Oh, man, the beans, man. The beans are so great. They built a freaking billboard to them at the motel. But like I was saying, uh, with the context of everything, man, it is just crazy to watch it. Uh, like, all these updates, if they do start coming out, like, they were coming out, like, mid to, like, early mid of last year, kind of leading up to 1.6, even 1.7 to an extent. There's going to be a lot of updates. There's going to be a lot of new stuff. And even like the motel, man, the motel is probably like the least hype thing we're going to get. And as we spend more time with it, we're learning that like, yo, the motel is actually kind of low-key hype. Especially because like it's a pretty quick breeze and you can do it with like relatively cheap weapons as well. I might even try doing it, uh, run through of it and like see like what kind of like cheap weaponry we can utilize and kind of do it like super efficiently. Maybe even like butt naked because I mean, I, I don't like wearing pantalones anyway. So who's got to be wearing half the other stuff, you know what I mean? But yeah, not only that motel, like I was saying, we are going to be getting the Halloween event. It's been a minute since we got the event. We're going to be checking those out. We're going to be getting the gas station and then leading up to what is shaping up to be that 1.10 update with multi player clan bases a common place to call home and then dude that's not even to mention all the other things on that roadmap and all the other things we've yet to see it's a good time to be playing last day so i hope that you guys are enjoying it because i sure as hell am enjoying it so uh stay tuned and let's enjoy it together but for now i gotta go ahead prepare my inventory we got a nutty little thing known as a raid to partake within so talk to y'all in a second and without further ado ladies and gentlemen boys and girls cop a peek at our inventory it's time to get the armada the brigade the battalion whatever large unit measurement you want to use of hatchets and wall breaking mechanisms and maneuvers because we don't know what lies ahead but i do know that my bloodthirst lies within and i thirst for my freaking loot back because these guys kind of manages to manage to yeet that stuff over here we just got a little bit of a temporary storage also we did restock the bait chest over here already with an m16 to go ahead and cover in case we get raided we got three minutes to go and start making some noise so i'm gonna try and do that let's get to driving over i hope that i didn't forget something super awesome obvious in my rush to do this but let's be honest with my dingusness with my goldfish type memory not to mention uh the goldfish type memory oh yeah and constant train of thought derailment it wouldn't surprise me if i forgot something pretty basic so just just double check our weapons are silenced we got hatchets and i think we're good to go i know that we're bringing a little bit more water than we should but we got about three minutes until we lose this skull and i i don't know man i know that seems pretty minor but having a skull available to us is actually a pretty nifty little advantage because then after we do this raid we'll go back up to two after we do that third raid that i went ahead and got that'll bring us back up to three and we should be able to get back up to four in no time flat and oof it appears oh oi it appears we got a little bit of a keeper here all right let me see very quickly does just entering the base make it count as us like having having like started the raid does that does that add to our time or do i need to go and break a wall i, I just don't want to be in a rush to break this wall let me know game are we let's freaking go Woo! no rush on that bad boy anymore and then i think if we just enter that base something similar should happen but okie dokie we gotta get dino bot raid so i can get this out to y'all so we can start getting hype for this freaking clan base all the insanity it is gonna be breaking all along with those crazy other updates we got and of course the crazy things we still gotta go ahead and do what why do i have 13 noise 
Did anyone just... Bruh. Bruh. Why? Why did... Huh? Is there any explanation at all for the fact that uh, that just happened? Also, is this a... Is this a wall I'm breaking into? I... I don't... What? No, I don't think... Oh, I think I'm wasting chops. God dang it! Oh, my God. Yeah, okay, it's off to a bit of a rocky start, but just like Rocky, uh, we will come back and die. No, Rocky's not dead. Okay, yeah, Rocky survived, so I mean, we'll be Gucci. Um, question is, where to break into on Mr. Dinobot rollout? Yeah, boys, I, I don't know. I'm seeing a door. Knock, knock. Who's there? God dang it. It's a uh, required C4 explosive. My, fav my favorite neighbor. No, 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 no. That's, that's, that's not the way the knock, knock joke's supposed to go. It's supposed to involve a lot more boom and, uh... Yeah, not as much boom as a lad like me, as a lad like me would like. Because uh, if you guys have been watching for probably more than two days, you'd know that boom is one of my favorite topics. So uh, as one would say, bada bing, bada boom, and in the end, dude, it just sucks so bad. Oh my god! Hold up, my brain just fully comprehended. Look at all these chests. I was too busy focusing on the noise and how salty I was. Oh no it. Nelly, all oh, like what I'm seeing here. I, I okay, one slight problem. I don't know which chest is gonna have anything good. This is a lot of colors, and apparently this man was in the middle of building a rainbow. I don't know if he was like the Skittles CEO or whatever it might be, but hot dog, dude. We got chests up the wazoo. Okay, okay, this is a good start, but this actually just adds to the salt I was talking about because, uh, well. We used one C4, we haven't even broken a chest, and we are at 35 noise. So, uh, how does one say shouts out to the game? Because, yeah, that's just great, but let's go ahead and get to breaking into things. The good news over here, let's freaking go! That's the good news right there! We got a steel plate, we got an electronic circuit on top of 20 cameras, which should net us a couple of lenses, and... I don't know, dude, if that's what we got out of the first chest, and we got this many chests, and this man is color-coding them. <laughs> we, we might be in for a little bit of a treat. Ooh, I've, I've been needing me some something to snack on. Uh, where's that second? Mm, okay, no, we already blew through the first pistol. That's why. I hope that's got enough durability to last us. If not, I, I don't mind using a hatchet. I think we might have brought uh, more than usual. But the good news here is, oh, no. Dang, man. If I knew that this stuff was here, I would have broken in right here right at the entryway to uh that we should still have a lot of time though to do the big one glitch with the doghouse unless i got patched in 1.9.9 i'm not sure why don't we go and see what is within the purple section of uh chest and see if these are uh just very very empty and sad okay i was hoping for full and happy but out hey hey dude we already got an electronic circuit a couple other things we got plenty of hatchets to break into this is hopefully going to be a relatively quality raid is that we got upon our hands here. It just sucks because I do not know which chest to break into to not get smacked by the hand of disappointment. Why don't we go ahead and break into one of these pinks? Because I think pinks require some white paint and the white paint was good and oh mama, that is nothing at all. Uh, okay, so maybe a blue chest? Because the only chest that had stuff was the white chest, but that was also the only chest of that color. This blue chest is kind of chilling, doing its own thing, starting its own podcast. I don't know whatever chest doing in their free time and being filled with food. So I guess that was the chest that just ate the fridge because he was filled to the brim with that stuff. Um, I, I don't know, man. I'm not feeling like breaking into any more of those chests, but why don't we go for a green chest, please? Game? Have mercy upon me. Do we have anything? Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. I saw some aluminum. I saw some potential guns. Oh, and I see a freaking fist fight and a half that we gotta participate within. Oi, oi, this is not what I was hoping for. Hold on, ow, 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 just freaking get up off me. Ah! All right, um, I, I definitely did not bring as many silenced weapons as I thought. Okay, uh, plan B. Good news everyone we got a vss from our survival guide at some point so let's get to capitalizing on that shouts out to the survival guide man because uh this kind of just saved our buns on what is a semi i'm, I'm not even gonna say se am, am i hello hello oh okay i was about to be like did i get stuck in the doghouse bro am i the dog equivalent of grounded no yo game don't hit me with that disconnect glitch 
Oh my god, thank you, dude. I remember that happened one time. That oh, I hope that that connecting to server thing doesn't happen in the middle of the big one trying to kill us. Because that could end actually... Oh, dear God, that could end terribly. Uh, hotel Wi-Fi, please. Uh, <laughs> have mercy on your boy Star. Like, a lot of it. Because you, my fate is in your hands. And there's some semi-decent things to be looking over at our fate here. But, hold on, I'm trying to... I'm just going to punch that guy with three health to death. That's obviously the best way of going. And boot this. Come on, Toxic Abomination. Boop. Let's go ahead and shoot that leg off. You don't need that. Legs are overrated. You know, ex except mine. Mine are pretty dope. But zombie legs, overrated, man. Have you ever, like, tried frying a zombie leg? I haven't. It just sounds disgusting. So that that's how I base things off how delicious they would be fried. And I'm not saying that my legs would be delicious fried. Okay, this is getting into a bad feedback loop. Let's go ahead. Let's freaking go. We got some shotgun rain to kick things off. We got... Okay, saw blade mace and uh, okay, a sledgehammer, but shotgun rain and an engine part on top of 20 aluminium bars and a couple of few. Okay, three red tickets actually semi decent. I think we need like three tickets to get our next red ticket crate, so that's Gucci. That's Gucci McSwaggins. Um, I will grab the 50 stack of yeller. I don't know about the green. I feel like we have a good amount of green tape. We'll, we'll, we'll see what else we can unearth here. Oh, hold on. I was actually clicking the wrong keys. I'm not used to using my keyboard. Uh, my, my laptop keyboard. I was about to say my keyboard laptop. Now I'm like, wait a minute. Something's not right with that sentence. Unfortunately, those thoughts only happen in the middle of my sentences. Never before. My brain's thinking too far ahead most of the time. All right, but brain shenanigans aside, we need to make these decisions here also. Oh, hold on. No, no, no. I, I, okay. I thought I actually put my VSS away. I'm like, wait a minute. I definitely still need that. Um, but we got, we got the valuables put away, so that's good. Maybe we could yeet over some gasoline at some point. But all in all, we got... We got some good stuff lined up here, but the question arises. Ooh, 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 ooh hold on. Okay, unless we get something better, uh, I'll go ahead and grab that 20 stack. 20 stack of nuts. Listen, those are the type. I, I could live with those types, of, uh, those types of nuts in my life, you know? Those honey roasted nuts, like, there's a very select types of nuts that I enjoy, you know? Um, ooh, okay, I could go ahead and get behind that as well. I could go ahead and grab some baked beans and get those up in the belly. And might as well yeet over some water. We'll probably ditch some of these like hatchets and stuff too. I'm interested to see if maybe one of these reds might be semi-decent since those are like in a row of two and we haven't investigated. Nope, reds are filled with disappointment. All right, well, I'm never opening anything red in my life ever again. I'm not, I'm not ever touching anything red in my life ever again. And, okay, pretty poopy too. Ooh, I hope my I, don't, I hope I don't bleed anytime soon then at any point in my life because I'm pretty sure my blood's red. That, that could prove to be problematic just like the chests that we are seeing and we do have a lot of chests to go so this is going to be kind of interesting to see unfold with the big one we can go ahead and toss the shotgun rain into that backup slot and i, I okay mm, mm, I, I have more shotguns than i actually i don't know because i'm thinking how to kill the top not the yeah the toxic abominations that come along for the ride here uh, I'll save the VSS, man. That thing silenced the shotgun. I know we can mod the shotgun and do like 80-something damage, but... Yo, YOLO, man. And also, dog, get the hell out of there. Why do you always be getting stuck in that stuff, you know? Uh, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try to soften up. Quote, unquote, soften up. In case you guys don't know what that means. That's where you get two chops if you're using a level 2 hatchet. Or three chops if you're using a level 1. To go ahead and weaken a lot of these chests. And that way, when you come back, you only need to swing on them once. And bada boom, bada bang, open a sesame. Your Gucci to go over on that part. And it does help us clear out some uh, stuff as well. So we're going to be wanting to loot this in an H pattern. It's like we're a helicopter and we're landing on a freaking hospital. I don't know, man. It's the first H that came to mind. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to want to do those. And YOLO. Okay, that one's softened up. Uh, I, I, I may have forgotten to soften up one of those. I ain't going to lie. I kind of lost track. Uh, soften up. Do you just want an... Okay, the noise is here. The noise is here. Hello. Okay, okay, hold on. We got we to gotta juke the big one over here and not die to him. Luckily, our SWAT armor is in tip-top shape, which will be helping us out a ton. We're going to want to teleport the big one into here. And then we will murder his accomplices like the good Samaritans that we are. Oh, hello, big one. How do you do? Toxic abominations, get over here. Dog, don't attack the big one. That is a waste of time and energy. Uh, he's probably going to spawn out here in just the GIF, in which case I just want to be ready to... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. exactly what I was talking about there. 
All right, my pupper's probably gonna get trapped yet again, as is tradition. I just gotta be ready to run out of here because, oi, hello, hello, comrade. How do you do, big fun? I just, whoop up. oh, dude, if you turn that corner fast enough, you can actually avoid getting damaged on your run out, dude. This, it, it, it takes too long to get this damage off, man. This is right on shotgun rain, like it as much shotgun rain, okie dokie, and oh, we didn't even manage to hit us that time. Bootsful, 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 beautiful. All right, dog. Please stop attacking the big one. That is getting us nowhere productive fast. He's gonna get a. He's gonna hit it. He is going to get a hit off on us. We are gonna dip. You're just tiring yourself out for no reason, pupper. Please, por favor, I beg of you. Don't be doing this type of jazz. And a hello, good morning. That is actually uh, as much as I like SWAT. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start ditching some of these things. Hopefully, did I heal? Okay, I did. Oh, do we find a chest with some SWAT? I can get behind that. Okay, now my dog runs out. What is my dog doing, man? There's a ton of first aid kits to work with, too, which is kind of nifty. Uh, he's going to teleport. We're probably going to do some more swaps with... Oh, hey! We almost dodged at that time. Uh, yeah, I'm going to try to get a couple more swaps here with... Uh, uh, I'll get rid of that. I'll get rid of... Honestly, the one camera. We already got a stack of 20. Whoop! God dang it. Thought I could maybe juke him out over there. Uh, I'm going to wait until he hits me one time in here. Then we're going to dip. Get these heals off. And uh, take things from there. Come on, big boy. Come on, big boy. TP in and whoop, 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 whoop. took a lot of damage from that. Okay, I'm, I'm okay with what that chest had. Let's see what the rest of these may or may not. Okay, we got some wood up in that one. I'm going to try and get the big one to teleport here. And we might be able to actually. Oy! Oh, dang it. I thought we could do that little like, corner glitch right there. Dude, if you do it right, like if you're on the other side of a wall, the big one will not damage you. And that's kind of what I'm trying to perfect, you know? I'm... No, 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 did not want to, no, 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 didn't want to let him in in either instance, but nonetheless, he got let in, so that one chest we broke had wood, this one had nothing, this one has, oi, oi, it's actually got an aluminum, I'll take that, I'll take, oh, almost turned that corner, I'll, I'll take me some aluminum, what am I ditching for the aluminum, this poopy thing right there, got it, I don't mind ditching that either, okay, we got a game plan, we just got to capitalize on said plan of games, you gonna TP to me? Whoop, 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 whoop. Okay, he is, he is. Yeah, I'm an aluminum bar. Definitely worth. Give me some of that, Sonny Jim Bob. I'm gonna wait for him here to teleport. I'm gonna activate the sprint and oi! There we go. We finessed it. Although the problem is, it's actually as long as he does a swing animation, I think his damage still goes up every time, so it actually doesn't matter as much. Because at the end of the day, like, we get healed throughout all of this. The problem is when his damage gets too high. That is when problems start arising. So, I think we're going to have time to maybe clear out the rest of these northern chests. I, I don't know if I'm going to try to push it. Okay, I did not push it to the limit. Oh, almost managed that one. We, we might be able to get, like, a couple more runs in. I, I, dude, we, we got decent stuff. We got a shotgun that we actually had to use during the raid. We got electronic circuit, engine part, a couple other things. I, I just want to get out of this raid alive. It's starting to get into risque territory. Uh, you got nothing over there. At least for you guys, too. This is great information for you guys. Hello! That's a dope chest. That's the information that I'm just picking up. Uh, yes, sir. Give me some of that. And we should be able to sprint over to that chest this time, which is where the going actually gets really juicy. Big one's going to teleport to us. We're going to sprint. And I'm ditching anything and everything to get my hands on whatever was in there. Because we're running out of time before he starts, like, being able to two-hit us. And that's going to be bad. And this is going to be very good. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. I will ditch all of these semi-poopy things. Is that all the guns? I think that's all the guns. Okay, see you later, big one. I ain't trying to die. You're ready to kill me and bless something. We got our hands on that chest. Super last second. Holy clutch, Gene Batman. I like what I'm seeing. But with that said, with that done, that's going to start wrapping up for this episode of Last Day on a Survival. Best of luck to you guys and gals. Get to the chopper gas tank. Enjoy the chopper squadron. Best of luck breeding your pups. Get your hands on all the best of blueprints that you can. So you can go ahead and build up those attachments to the best guns that you got. Not to mention best of luck getting the best skills that you can that you do acquire over through doing this shenanigans over there. Best of luck defending your base going out on dope raids like the one we managed to snake it today. All in addition to checking out all these new locations. Hopefully the motel loot is very kind to you. Best of luck defeating all the bosses that the game has to throw at you. Get them past the multiplayer wall. And most important of all, having yourselves an absolutely family fantastic time all throughout. But that's gonna do it for me. Thank you guys a whole ton for watching. Hope yourselves an awesome one. I'll talk to you next one. See ya.